Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. So I felt an unction or an urge from the Holy Spirit to continue praying. Um, I thought I was done. <laughs> God bless you all. Um, I was driving home from my bike ride after I just uploaded the other video and I heard the Holy Spirit say speak and he dropped that word in my spirit I said what do you want me to speak Lord I try to be obedient and I try not to get ahead of him um, because I want to um, only speak what he's putting upon my heart or what he gives me um, prophetically so I want to um, just share sorry I'm driving in turns um, he said speak life so I know that we all need encouraged right now I know we need encouraged every day but especially Christians need encouraged right now um, I have another video I'm trying to upload from yesterday but I have not done it yet I want to um, ask the Holy Spirit to be with you and to breathe um, uh, Jesus's peace and presence into you and that you receive an increase of supernatural Holy Spirit gifts um, if you look in the book of Corinthians it will um, speak about all the Holy Spirit gifts and um, God gives these gifts um, and he chooses how he gives them he chooses um, which gifts he gives so um, just remember to thank him for the gifts of the Holy Spirit um, they are a blessing um, and I just pray I want to speak life right now I just want to speak uh, uh, claim healings in the name of Jesus so to me turns I apologize I want to um, claim a healing over your body mind soul and spirit in the name of Jesus Christ um, Jesus is a restorer Jesus is the great physician Jesus is the King of King and the Lord of Lords. Jesus is the great I am. God gave Jesus the power over the heavens and the earth, and he left us the Holy Spirit as our guide. So I'm claiming um, healings in the name of Jesus. I'm claiming restoration of all of your joints. I'm claiming restoration in the uh, name of Jesus over um, your mind, over your body, over your soul, and over your spirit. Um, Jesus is a chain breaker, and he will break things off of you that do not serve him if you allow him to. And I claim um, healings of all uh, maladies. Um, I command the spirit of infirmity off of myself, off of you, off of your family, off of my family, in the name of Jesus, spirit of infirmity, I command you to be bound in Jesus' everlasting chains and sent to the pit of hell, um, never to return again to attach to us or anyone else, amen, and I speak life, I ask Jesus to give you a cup of abundance, of overflowing abundance, so that you may lend and never borrow, I ask him to give you a cup of overflowing um, the blessings from the storehouses of heaven, Father God, Jesus Christ, I ask you to pour out these blessings among my brothers and sisters and myself and my family. And we thank you and we praise you and we glorify you today and every day, Jesus, for giving us faith. You say if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, we could tell that mountain to be thrown into that ocean. And Lord Jesus, whatever is coming against me or my friends or my family, I command these demonic attacks, fiery darts from the enemy, plans against us to be bound and removed by your power and authority, Jesus Christ. I command them bound in everlasting chains, sent to the pit of hell, never to return again, to attach to me or anyone else. Amen. Glory be to God. It is only by your power and authority that I speak, Lord. Uh, none of my gifts are of me, Jesus, but of you, and I thank you for those spiritual gifts and spiritual blessings. May I always humble myself before you and bow down before you and worship and praise you, Jesus Christ. Amen. I ask that you bless my brothers and sisters that are struggling today. I ask that you restore their faith if it is lacking. I ask you to take them out of a, of a lukewarm state and put them um, into spiritual fervor a hunger for your holy word your scripture which is alive which is our sword of the spirit i ask for the sword of the spirit 
which is part of the armor of God. I ask for the full armor of God, Ephesians 6, over each and every one of us. I also pray um, the prayer, Psalm 91, which is protection over us. The full armor of God, Lord, hedge us in from every side to the north, the south, the east, and the west. Send your holy guardian angels and holy angels to protect us, especially warrior angels, especially Michael and all the warrior angels to protect all the Christians from these attacks, Lord. I ask for protection and guidance for everybody watching. I ask you to restore relationships and marriages. I ask for marriages that are unequally yoked, Lord. I ask that you open the eyes of the person that is being oppressed. I ask that you soften that hardened heart and you allow that person to see your love and to experience your unending love, Lord. I ask that person, I ask that you open their eyes, their spiritual eyes, Lord, and allow their hearts to be softened and open so that that marriage may be equally yoked. Lord Jesus Christ, you are Sorry, I had to turn. You are a, a restorer. You are the King of King and the Lord of Lords. And I thank you and I praise you and I honor you and I love you. And I want to just say amen to every prayer that I've spoken over myself, my family, or anybody watching or their family, Lord. I know that you're, you are the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other. You are a strong tower. Um, allow us to be your salt and your light. Allow us to be your hands and your feet, Lord. We are but broken vessels. But in our brokenness, Lord, it allows your light to shine within us. It allows your light to be shed upon others. And your love is poured out upon us and through us so that all may see your glory. So we honor you today, Jesus. And we thank you ahead of time for the blessings that you're putting in our uh, lives, in our children's lives, in our grandchildren's lives, and in our spouses' lives, and everybody around us. Lord, let us share your love. Let us share uh, your abundance. Let us share your mercy and graces that far surpass the sins that we've committed against thee if we ask for forgiveness. Let us have a repentant heart, a humble heart. Let us never be proud or arrogant. Let us always thank you for the every blessing that you have ever given us, Lord. And I thank you and I praise you and I honor you. And I pray everybody out there receives this healing that the Lord is trying to uh, to pour out upon us. Um, the Bible says that he, sh he is pouring out his spirit. In the end times, he will pour out his spirit, but we have to allow him to flow. We have to quit boxing God in. We have to allow him to pour out the Holy Spirit. So I, I pray that you um, open up your spiritual understanding that you ask Jesus to um, enlarge your territory to protect your tent which is your seed which is your children um, and to guide you and I just claim healing I speak life into your life I speak abundance and I speak uh, prosperity um, God wants to bless us he doesn't want us to be greedy because he doesn't like greed he hates greed um, but he wants us to um, give freely what has been given and I just pray um, life and speak life into your lives and healing and um, just love he is a purity in love I just speak love into your life love and restoration in Jesus's holy uh, name amen um, I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family and over me and my family in this video. God bless you all. Sorry my my videos aren't the best, but I do speak from my heart. God bless you. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Amen.